Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a special treat for you all and this is an update on the unsavable 1959 Impala convertible that I saved about four years ago now out of a grove in southern Iowa. I'll give you guys some photos, some updates on the car, uh, where it's at now in the restoration and I'll talk about what the future plans are for it. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so first of all, I want to give a shout out to my mid-tier and top-of-the-line members. We got Cruddy Cornstalks, Russ Kegel, Rusto Rod, and Beef Supreme. Thank you guys, and thank you to all my members who are members. If you guys want to join, there's a link down below. You guys get some extra benefits, some extra perks, and some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff you guys won't normally see, but don't feel like you have to. Just, uh, just another way to support the channel if you want to. So again, thank you guys to those guys. And... Next week, we will be covering the 1960 Olds. I'm going to pull the motor trans and uh, some other stuff off this car to put it onto the 59 Oldsmobile. But for today, I'm just going to sit here and talk, tell you guys a story um, of the unsavable 1959 Impala convertible and talk about its progress. All right, so back in September or October of 2018, I went down to Ottumwa, Iowa to buy a frame from a guy that I knew. Uh, for a 59 Chevy and when I was there he said hey I know a guy here you know fairly close to me who has a Impala convertible in a Grove. So we went over there checked it out and I'll put a link to the video right here in the top corner to show you guys the initial photos of how I found it and how I brought it home but we dug it out it took like 13 14 hours that day to dig it out of the Grove the car had been rolled, it was put in a ditch at one time, I mean the car was really, really bad. Um, it did have all of its trim, it did have a VIN tag and a cowl tag, I was able to get a title for the car, and then I sold it to a guy named Gene out in Nebraska in January of 2019. So Gene took that car, I gave him a power seat, a set of clean doors, um, a parts car, a four-door parts car, and a windshield post, because the one that was on the car was bad, but I gave him that, and he took the car, and the last about two and a half years, he redid the car entirely, put all new quarters on it, um, brand new floor pans, all the bracing is new, um, a brand new dash, brand new firewall. Really, the only thing left on the car that's original, you know, is the VIN, the cowl tag, the frame, and some of the inner structure. I mean, a lot of the metal had to be replaced because the car was so bad. Um, now... He had planned to finish the car and keep it for himself, but he had listed another car for sale on Facebook, and my friend, actually, who lives in Texas, his name is Eric, he saw the, um, the car in the background of the, of the photos of this other car for sale. You know, the 59 convertible was actually never listed for sale, but, but him, uh, Eric, and Gene got together and made a deal on the car, and the car currently resides down in um, southern Texas. So he's going to take the car to the finish line. It was originally a white car with red guts. Uh, I believe he's going to keep it stock. It does not have a motor or transmission yet. I'm not sure what the plans are for that in terms of a drive line. Um, he did say that all the metal work is done with the exception of the lower, lower quarter panels. They still need to be replaced because the quarters were off of a original uh, Impala. So other than that though, really, I mean, besides just some small finishing touches for the metal work, the metalwork's all done. The car is solid. It's been primered on the bottom. Um, just a lot of really good work has been done. And you guys are seeing the photos, you know, of, of the car as it was in progress, as well as some videos taken by Eric, um, the new owner of the car. But again, it just needs to have some, some metal done, you know, on the, on the lower quarters there. It needs to be painted, interior, and then motor trans wired, and it's done. So really, I want to make this video because I've had so much interest in this car. Everyone emails me. I mean, I get probably 10, 15 emails a week asking for an update. And I took a lot of grief and a lot of hell on Facebook when I listed the car originally back in 2018, 2019 for sale. Um, and actually when I drug it out of the Grove, everyone thought I was crazy. So just goes to show you that no car is unsavable. It just comes down to time, money, and skill. Uh, Gene actually did all of the work, the metal work I should say, in his garage. I mean, it, it was not at a shop. He was not paying someone 200 bucks an hour to do it. He did all the work himself. Now, granted, he you know is a, a body man by trade. He retired from that. I mean, he knows how to do the work. It was very advanced work for sure, but it can be done. So to say that you know a car is too far gone or or you know it's a rebody, you know it's it it's just kind of falling on deaf ears because you can't fix these cars. They do make metal for these cars. 
Um, as long as everything is in place and, and the VIN hasn't been tampered with and the frame hasn't been tampered with and a lot of good stuff, really it's an original car. And you know, some people have, have said to me, you know, Ryan, when, when does it go from uh, a rebody, you know, or a conversion from an original car? Well, if you take a four-door or a two-door sedan and you put convertible parts in it, that's a conversion. If you start with a real deal convertible, however bad it may be, if you start with a real deal convertible, it's a restoration. And I'm gonna stick by that. I'm sure some people won't agree with that. Um, I know Mark Warman, he actually turned down a uh, Dodge Daytona because there wasn't enough of the original car to save. But if you actually start with an original car, even you know if it's, if it's just parts of a, of a car, if you start with the remnants of a real car, in my opinion, that's a real deal car, regardless of, of how much work you put into it. So that's just my kind of rant for the day on that. Um, like I said, I've got some photos here for everyone, some videos, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, as we get farther along in the restoration, I've been talking to Eric here, uh, he's my buddy on Facebook, so he's gonna keep me posted, I will keep you guys posted. It's been about, I think like two years since I actually did an update on this car, so Maybe expect another update here in, in a year, year and a half when it's painted and, and wired and, and running and driving. So with that being said, if I, can get, um, if I can get down there to Texas and actually film the car in person, that would be really cool, but I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Um, so I guess in the meantime, just pictures and videos will be the next best thing. So if you guys enjoyed the video and the update, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, comment what you guys think of the car, what you guys think of my belief on a rebody slash conversion and an original car. Um, subscribe if you're brand new to see more updates and more cool cars like this in the future. Um, thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you next time.